We got a big open arena here, so let's spawn a guy. Nothing happened. What? Hello and welcome to another episode of what am I doing today? Looks like I'm, you know, falling down. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host, BerryBite. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. Anyways, I found this. I was looking at this tower on the map and then I realized, hold on, there's a whole structure on there. So yeah, let's explore it. Maybe there's some good loot waiting for us. Hold on, there's a waste on here. What? Hey, K rare. Okay, whatever. There's a random waste on there. Okay, we got two waste stones right next to each other. Find an illegal fort. <clears throat> Illegers. Can I see something other than illegers, please? I mean, all this time we are only seeing illegers. And where is the official entrance to this place? Or is there an entrance? I mean, it's a fort, so it has to have an entrance. I guess this is it, so we're gonna climb the wall and jump on them. Or not. Is it a closed entrance? What? Okay, we're gonna mine ourselves in. We're gonna invite ourselves in and right away we see ores. Always welcome sight to see because, you know, we are doing so much each time with them that I don't know what would I do without the ores. Wow. Such loot, such good loot. Anything in here? Wow, more coal and nuggets. Just what I need. And more stuff. And... Looks like there is no resistance, so is it free for taking, I guess? We're gonna just take all... Oh, zombie, goodbye. Oh, and by the way, I got the sharpness 4 sword. In the meanwhile... And hell... What are you doing here? Necromancer. So many mobs. But no villagers in pillager outpost. I mean, no illagers. You know the guys that pillage and do stuff. And you want to die? Okay. Oh, there's some better loot, at least. So diamond boots are something more than, you know, nuggets. Hold on, I hear pillagers. What? There is pillagers in pillager outpost after all. Who would thought that? Or it's a ice lodger. What's ice lodger now? Oh, and another chest. That means there's some good loot in there, probably. And another diamond boot. Just what doctor prescribed we need. And looks like this pillager outpost is just one big library of stuff. Since I don't see any pillagers apart from that ice isolager, whatever his name is, and more diamonds. Yes, I just realized actually I'm gonna go get an axe and destroy this whole library because eventually we will need the books, and I don't want to have to grow tons of sugarcane, you know, to get a lot of books. An even better part is that I remembered I have a silk touch uh, axe. So this is just gonna be nice. More random loot and more stuff we really don't need, like armors. But I'll take the XP bottles because they come in handy, I guess sometimes. And an empty barrel, nice. And more coal and nuggies. But I found another li library with diamond boots. So I guess, and lure books, so I guess we will never have enough diamond boots. Oh, but this one is more promising. Fire aspect, okay, we like that. Impaling and darm, 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 diamond armor, diamond chest plate. Bruh. I actually wonder what happened to all of the pillagers because I remember, uh, I remember this POI from the other mod packs. Oh, nice. And there for sure were more pillagers than none of them. Uh, where did I leave my waist? Oh no, no. Now, why is this not possible? Show sharpness 5 and fire aspect. I'm confused. Oh, I see. So it needs fire aspect 2 book plus the ancient tomb to make fire aspect 3. 
What? Oh, and just as I was talking about enchanting table, I don't need to make one. I just got one and completed a whole chapter in the quests of the useful items, which is... Again. Here, I see. Oh. Yeah, yeah. More, more, more XP. That's what I need. And more loot. You know how I was complaining about diamonds? Looks like all we had to do was go explore. Do I hear spiders? I don't like that sound. But I finally hear some enemies in this whole structure. But I don't see them. Oh, I see them. I see them. And I hated them. The worst thing ever. Poison. The best loot ever. For now. I love it. I hear a lot of them. Oh, hello there, spider. Calm down, calm down, calm down. And the worst place I can be is inside cobwebs. Don't come down, please. But I wonder, what is up there when there are so many spiders? We'll find out soon, I guess. Now, how did this cat get up there? Explain that to me. There is no way for you to get up there or up here. So how did you manage it? Eh, either way. Back to that spider dungeon we found, we still need to conquer it. And looks like only way up there is for us selves to be a spider, so... Come at me spiders! Oh, that's a lot of spiders and I got stuck in cobweb. Not good. Good thing we have an armor that protects us against those small creatures that try to hurt us. Okay, one spawn dealt with. There's more spawners to deal with. And how? Why did you spawn here, Mr. Skeleton? Isn't the spiders enough pain for me? That I need to endure skeletons too? The mob I hate the most. But looks like there's a lot of weed and a lot of food for us, so I don't... I'm not complaining. Well, for now. But I hate cobwebs. And I love that even with the mods, spiders are still stuck on the ceiling. But now upside down. So let's check out the amazing loot we went up here for. So damn, a lot of nuggets, coal and gunpowder and a chipped anvil and more coal and gunpowder and a chest with nothing useful to us. And more useless stuff, and more useless stuff, and more spiders on our ass, and more useless stuff. But okay, I'm gonna take anvils. But, oh, another chest, maybe there's something good here. Well, well, diamonds can be considered good, I guess. It's not the worst loot, but it's not certainly worth going up here. Marrow summons a demon spy upon collision, explode if target is in the air. What is that? That's something new we haven't seen before. Oh, and I found out where the rest of the spiders are. They are on top of the dungeon. But it's daytime, so they are fine with me running around here. And maybe we can try and jump to that thing. Voila! Absolutely fail. Oh well. Find a nice tower, brrr, of course. Well, this is a good thing, the first good thing that pays off for what we came for up here. Unbreaking tree. That goes straight on our sword. Well, that's an odd side. Looks like we found a Turu to -tu 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 phone. Looks like we found a bamboo biome or bamboo or whatever this is in ice biome. Interesting stuff indeed Kausa jungle what is Kausa jungle what is this snowy bamboo and why would I need snowy bamboo exactly is there some point in getting it it's just regular bamboo 
nothing special. Oh no, seagulls are coming for me again in this snowy beach. No, 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 no. Go away. Come at me, come at me. I already killed one of yours. You see this feather? Let this feather be a lesson to not mess with me. Oh, and a sunken ship on the land. I'm not complaining. Just where are the chests? We need a shovel. Okay, first chest, the usual stuff, nothing interesting. And the second chest, a lot of stuff we will disenchant because that is just the worst loot ever we can find. Oh my god. I found the cutest thing ever. Pingu. And a Pingu kid. Look at him. Look how cute he is. I mean, you can't really see him because I hooked his head. But yeah, go, go to your family. And looks like I found some kind of old oh, ice that breaks under us. And I found the ice trees. Whatever that is. And I want to see. Even in the midst of icy wasteland, a wonderful life can appear. Can be placed. If that is all that we can do with it, then it's useless to us. Ice maze? Find ice maze location on the frozen ocean biome. I don't know what is ice maze, but I see something in the distance, so we're gonna go check it out. But what's the point of this? Anything interesting? No. There's seals. Can we pick up? We can pick up a seal. Can we pick up a baby seal? Yes, we can. We. And by the looks of it, you guessed it, it's more pillagers, just what we want. I'm gonna steal your emerald, because that's what I want, and I'm gonna kill you. Nothing, nothing, just the basic loot, and a globe. Iron tool, we're gonna deconstruct that in a smelting. But yeah, nothing interesting so far, apart from a lot of har har. Har to you too, har har. The, they sound like me on a toilet. Increases the weather's mining speed and base mining level. Hold on, where does that go? On my second hand! And I can probably mine what I couldn't mine before. That's actually pretty good. I like that. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Anything interesting up here? Nothing. Pirate pouch. Forgotten pirate clothes that smell like rotten oysters. Wait, can we open that? We can. Fans of sea trams. Doubled of sea trams. Nothing useful. Okay, a book that you can read on your own if you want. Feel free to pause the video. Oh, there's a hint. There are more structures underneath the ice. Looks like I have to go down to those terrible fish. Isn't that just amazing? We have something exactly for that. And we need to find other ships nearby for the keys. Okay. I'm gonna take the book with me because it's an interesting book. Oh, we want to skip the night to continue the exploring of the ice plains. Well, guess what? A blood moon is coming. So that means a lot of enemies gonna spawn. Probably... I guess. So we're gonna wait this out. And if anything interesting happen, I'm gonna skip to that part. And see you in a moment. Okay, time to continue search for whatever things we need. And that is... Ooh, I like that. We actually got protection 2, pro uh, I mean protection 3, protection 3 and protection 4 iron armor. So we are good to go right now. Of course, Drain. Oh, I found a fin which can be crafted into some terrible helmet. Which, yeah, looks nice, I guess. Half set taking damage and full set okay and a sword. Free gem the hard you have, you deal 15% more damage. Holy hell! That can be OP. And for this we need... Okay? Not scary at all. Ghost of Captain Cornelia? Hold on, we're gonna fight a boss? Eel? What the hell is this? Mao? And Mother of the Maze? 
Okay, I think tortured soul. I we found all the things we're gonna fight. We are looking for something, but I'm not sure even myself what exactly. Turu tu 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 you too. We are looking for. I wanted to go underwater, but looks like we are starting to freeze instantly as we go underwater. So that's not good. And looks like there's another big ship over here. So we're gonna go there. This looks like a ship that's afloat so let's get in and let's introduce ourselves i'm the boss or your new captain and who the hell is this guy with something on his head oh no you're gonna give me a oh, come on he's gonna give me the debuff and we're gonna have to fight a right again right At our hometown when we come oh well just to be safe, I took a milk bucket in case we get the debuff. Because looks like that's what's about to gonna happen. Ooh, that's a lot of you. But a single me. And... Where did you go? Oh, you're here. Quest completed. What did they get? Exploration. Find an important item while exploring fro frozen ships. Hellhorn summons Captain Cornelia. Okay. And treasure pouch. Okay, let's see what the treasure pouch gives us. Mm, just played of the Twilight Grotto. Plus 4 penetration and 6 armor. Oh. Is this a custom armor? Can we combine those two things? If we can, that's nice. Okay, so there's one more book if you want to read. Now it's the time to pause. Oh, hello, villager. Nice seeing you here. And two villagers. And a loot room by the looks of it. Diamonds, always welcome. Emeralds, of course. Seize to the power of the senior of Stomach Fury. Hmm, okay. And we found a music disc, Bird's Horizon. I don't know if we can listen that because, you know, YouTube and copyright stuff, but yeah, nice disc. Oh man, am I dumb? I forgot to drink the milk before coming home. Why did it even take the milk if I'm gonna forget to use it? Dumb guy. Oh well, now it's too late to back down. I guess we fight. And of course, the challenger comes. Do you want to see how stronger I got? You see this? I'm no longer scared of you. I mean, I wasn't scared before, but now I'm not either. And this time the funny guy, fire guy, can uh, put us on fire because, you know, it's raining, so this rain is ooh, going into our adven uh, advantage. Oh, and guess who showed up again? So we're gonna fight you again, eh? And here we go, come on. Do your animation, kill the villager, give him the glue glue juice, prime juice. And let's go. Let's go. Ooh. This time I don't have shield. But I'm gonna win. Because I have sharpness for sword. And what do you have? This abomination. Yeah, as you can see, the second phase came way faster than before. Oh, those are, those are bombs. Yeah, I won't lie. The sharpness sword really makes this go easier than last time and what are you doing mate yeah why are you watching me like you don't need to be here this is beef with me and ragno and the beef is over now i got a beef with you and let's do this the last wave of 50 illagers I'm gonna survive this. I'm gonna go directly attack all of you. Oh no, Ravagers. No, no, no. We, we won't. We won't. We won't. We don't wanna die. Come on. We need to get inside our borders and we are safe. So many vexes. Like, they are all over me. Go die. Please. Look how many of them is there. Like, if anything is gonna kill me, it's a stupid vex. Look at him. Whew! 
And more coming. And the worst part of everything is that the fire guy just spams his fire and that ruins my armor. And covered me. I got my totem of undying equipped in case I die. Because you are coming from my ass. I hate you. And the cherry was popped, of course. Where are you, stupid wax? Anymore? Phew! I think that's finally all of them, and villagers are bombardi bombarding me with fireworks. Don't put out fireworks above your head. And let's unbox this. We got recall potion. Oh, that's nice. And iron axe. That's bad. Now after that is done, we can come and focus on our mission, and that is to find the captain guy and retrieve the ship key. Oh, obsidian school, I like that trinket. Oh, this is the best thing we could got, tiny vision goggles, no more compression loss for YouTube, yes, this is such a game changer. Oh my god, we can finally see in the dark, that means we can see underwater too, I think. But by the looks of it, this uh, ice maze looks like to be a big biome, so I'm gonna leave that exploring for the next episode. And for the end, we gonna fight the, the, the boss guy. We got a big open arena here, so let's spawn the guy. Nothing happened. What? In beers need water. Oh, so we need to find a water source. There's a bit of water here, so let's try it. Oh yes, indeed, indeed, is this a flying battle? Let's hope it not. Come here, Captain Cornelia. Oh, you are hitting a lot. And my phone was ringing, but we got a Captain Ornelia to fight. And she is regenerating rapidly, what? That's not cool. Wait, she is regenerating more than we can deal damage? Or not? Or am I crazy? No, no, no! No, she, she's gonna just fly up and regenerate! That's not fair! And I'm just gonna ta keep taking damage because, you know, that's fair. Look at that HP regeneration, what? It doesn't say anywhere how to beat it. Oh no, we're gonna die. So, how do we beat this mob? Does it regenerate when it sees us? Because it doesn't look like it's regenerating HP when it's not looking at us. Oh, am I dying? Am I dying? Why are you jumping behind me? That's not cool. I can't do enough damage to kill her. It just... You see, like, as soon as I go to low HP, she just regions. I'm confused. What am I supposed to do with you? Okay, this requires a bit of timeout and a bit of Google help. So, I've been hitting her and the night came and other monsters are spawning now. But there is simply no way for me to crit and kill her and I run out of the food there's like no way see no matter what I do as soon as I get her down to like 1 HP we get this crazy regeneration HP and I'm scared if I go home which I need to go because I don't have food she will despawn so hopefully that won't be the case let's test it out so if, before we jump out into the fight I got few items that might help us kill her. Do you like lava? Do you like lava? Because I don't like lava. Come on. Oh, you are immune to lava. That's just great. No, don't, 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 don't. Don't push me in water. That like worst possible play. Look at her. Don't pull me in the water. What did I say? Oh, 
Okay, I don't like being so close near you. And those monsters are taking a piss with me. I can't fight monsters and the... What? Monsters and the captain... Who refuses to die for some reason. Like, I have a sword that has sharp four. Okay, and I died. How does that make any sense to me? Explain to me. And you just... Who now poisoned me? Can I kill you, please? It's getting crowded in here. Yeah, die, you little itch. It will be funny if this will work, because Google sometimes is a lifesaver. Come on. Yeah, she's impossible to kill. She doesn't die. She just doesn't die. That's that. So, with the background of those beautiful screams of a woman that won't just die, we are finishing this episode, and see you guys next time. Stay awesome, and bye!